Today we're going to be checking out to see which is the better crawl. The Guggen Bates Crack and Crawl versus the Cajun Lures Crack and Crawl. And then we'll throw in the Matrix Crawl just for some diversity. How you making folks and welcome to the channel. If you're here for the first time, my name is Vinny and we do a whole bunch of hunting and fishing vlogs as well as unboxing, product reviews, tips and tricks, and uh, you know, some other stuff. So if any point in this video you start finding some value, give it the old thumbs up and let me know at least if you didn't care what I'm talking about. So full disclosure, I am not sponsored by any of these guys. I paid for these lures all by myself. I've used the Matrix Crawl before, but I have actually never used the Cajun Lures Crack and Crawl or the Guggen Baits Crack and Crawl. So I'm gonna try and remain as objective as possible because uh, I'm gonna be a little bit biased naturally towards these two because they're both made in Louisiana and well, that's where I'm at. So I'm gonna try my best to keep my opinions to myself and just give you guys the facts. We're gonna do some underwater tests. So let's get right down into it. So we're gonna kick it off with the old Guggen Baits Crack and Crawl, spelled with a K. Cajun Lures are spelled with a C, in case you're interested. So the package says open sniff catch. So I'm assuming there's gonna be some scent to it. So we're giving the old sniff test and it does smell juicy. I don't know, it's almost kind of maybe like a liquor smell. Hmm, pull this bad boy out the package. Well, since it's got a smell, let's see if it, see what it tastes like. Hmm. Actually tastes a little salty. So it must have some kind of salt in it. When it comes out the package, you're gonna to have to separate these claws. It's attached right there in the center. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Ooh. That's interesting. Well, that was the pull test. I honestly didn't pull that very hard and that, uh, that claw kind of came off. So there's that. So the crawl, you can tell, it used to have two claws and it's got Six little legs that aren't very long, so they're probably not gonna move too well in the water. But on the end of the claw, you can see there's like these little ridges, these little flaps right there at the end. That's gonna catch some water and probably give it a lot of motion. Now, because it's so thin, that's probably why it tore, but that's probably gonna be a lot of motion in the water, but we'll find that out when we do the underwater test. So that was the Guggen's Crack and Crawl. Now we're gonna go on to the Cajun Lures Crack and Crawl. Spell the C. We're gonna do the exact same test. We're gonna do the open and the sniff. It has a smell, but it really just smells like plastic. Pulling it out, the first thing I notice is the longer antenna on the Cajun Lures Crack and Crawl. It does have a similar flange, if you will, at the end of the claw that's gonna uh, catch that water and probably make those claws move pretty well. It also, you have to break, separate the claws just like you did with the Guggen uh, Crack and Crawl. It also has six legs like the Crack and Crawl, but the only thing difference is these legs split right there at the end the two little appendages at the end of the leg, which is uh, quite more accurate to an actual crawfish. Well, I guess it's only fair. We're gonna go ahead and give it the old pull test and see how much it stretches. And I'm gonna pull till the claw comes off just so we can see the comparison. So that didn't take much to pull that one off either. So that goes about what and what with the Guggen Beats crawl. So both of these crawls, the bodies are kind of sectioned off, which uh, is, Pretty helpful if you wanna start cutting them down to use them as trailers on jigs or whatnot. You can always cut them right there in those lines. Uh, as far as the bottom goes, the Guggen Crawl is pretty much the same on the bottom as it is on the top. Uh, whereas the Cajun Lures is more flat and it's got these little, these little ridges right there that you can see. And then the body right there is just it's flat with like a little, some kind of design in it. So before we get to the Matrix Crawl, if you guys are enjoying this video at all, consider subscribing. It's free, doesn't cost you anything, and uh, you can unsubscribe anytime. So this is the Matrix Crawl by Dockside Bait and Tackle. We're gonna give her the old open and sniff test. Um, smells pretty much just like the Cajun Lures. It is a plasticky smell, although I do quite enjoy that smell. Leave a comment below if you do too. So this one is pretty different than the other two, which is also why I wanted to throw this one in there. It, is, it doesn't have any little flange or anything on the claws. It's a little thinner right here at the body and it kind of just, I guess, tapers up and slowly gets thicker at the end of the claws. They got these ridges all the way up and down the actual claw itself. It has a hollow body actually in the front of the crawl. This front section right here, this top section is hollow. This is solid down here at the back. The antennas on this guy is, is small, even smaller than the Guggen antennas. So as far as the stretch test goes, let's see. 
So right here already, I would have broken the other two. But there it goes. So it's a little bit tough for plastic, for sure. Uh, but I guess that's just the nature of a crawl when you're dealing with a thin piece of plastic like that. All right, so let's take these guys down to the pool pond. We're gonna see what they look like buzzing across the surface. We're gonna see what they look like subsurface. And then we're gonna slap her on the old Texas rig and see what they look like uh, on the fall. And by the way, I'll leave a link for all three of these down in the description below, in case you wanna check them out. All right, starting off with the old Texas rig. This is the Guggen Bates Crack and Crawl. Got lots of good motion, as you can see, on the rise and the fall. Got lots of good motion. Looks like one of those flailing arm inflatable tube guy things that uh, put out in front of all the car dealerships to get your attention. So I'm assuming that's what it does for the bag. Next up, we got the Cajun Lures Crack and Crawl. Not as much motion. It's still got some pretty decent motion, but it's more of a subtle motion. Kind of a little wave going on as it goes up and down. It is in slow motion for you. Just a little wave in action going. This is the matrix crawl, which surprised me how much motion is in those crawls, especially since they're flat. They don't have that little flange that catches the water and makes them shake, but got a lot of action in them. With that color too, it catches that light, giving it a little shimmer. Now going back to the Cajun Lewis Crack and Crawl, something I noticed is look how the claws float when that crawl is on the ground. It sits there kind of like a, a natural motion. It lands, kind of stays on its belly. Got them claws just hanging up in the air. And if you look at the Guggen Bates Crack and Crawl, it, uh, it don't do that. Claws just sink and uh, sit there on the bottom. And I completely forgot to try out the Matrix Crawl. So uh, sorry about that. Moving on to the surface test. Uh, this would be like if you're trying to drag that crawl across the top of the water like a uh, rivet frog. You can see the Guggen Bates crack and crawl. Does a really good job. Both claws are just flipping and flopping right there at the surface of the water. Making a whole lot of disturbance and a whole lot of motion. There you go in slow mo. See them, both of them are flailing, both of them are moving. Now with the Cajun Lure, you still have a lot of motion, but it looks like one of the claws kind of sits up there with the surface tension of the water and doesn't really release. So it's just holding to that surface of the water, but that other claw is doing a lot of good motion right under the surface. You can see there too, that claw is just holding tight to the top of the water, but that other claw is flipping pretty good. But you do have those long antenna on this one too that adds a little bit of extra motion that the Guggenbeet don't have. Now moving on to the Matrix Crawl on the surface test. Pretty much the same thing as the Cajun Lure. That uh, one claw tends to just stick to the top of the water like that. That other claw uh, gets some pretty good motion out of that one. Now this test, pretty much all of them excel that as the just under the surface or just cast and retrieve straight through the water. And Claw is just booging it, just dancing away. Look at him. Same thing with the Cajun Lures Crack and Crow. Even the bass got a little interested in it. Just flipping and flopping and wiggling and weaving. Oh yeah. Slow it down for you. And then the Matrix Crawl doing the same thing. Man, look at that motion. Look at him. Just look at him.
pretty good, pretty good. Well, that's pretty much it. Again, I will leave a link in the description below for these three lures. Let me know in the comments which one of these three you think is the best, and if there's another crawl that you think is better than all three of these, also leave that in the comments. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Subscribe if you feel like it, and uh, until next time, why don't you check out one of these two videos?